This is Priest King Olutomole Agbaye, the Comforter, preaching end time act of salvation gospel, also inviting and calling all the beloved of the Lord to come on board to escape God's wrath. For as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the day of the Son of Man. Luke 17, 26. We thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Our viewers out there, it's peace and blessing unto you. We are now moving into another episode of this same program titled Moment of Truth. It's the time we are going to have in depth exposition of all written scriptures of the Bible for your edification. Stay blessed. Thank you, another comforter. Uh, we still receive some questions from viewers at all. This one. In the world today, there is so much confusion. A lot of people say Jesus is coming today or tomorrow. Some even say he is coming to rapture. But up to now, there is no sign of Jesus coming. Now tell us, under comforter, is Christ really coming back? I will answer that question by telling you it is not ordained for Christ to come to rapture anyone into heaven. Going by the divine arrangement of things, Christ was to come at the end of the whole world. At the end of the whole world, to come and judge the whole world. Because Christ has been murdered shamefully in taking the, away the sin of the world. He was treated like a criminal. He was murdered brutally. Hmm. Now, in annoyance, Christ, after his resurrection, assured the whole world According to Mark, uh, John chapter 16, verse 10, he says emphatically that of righteousness, I go back to my father and you will see me no more. You will see my face no more. You will see my presence no more in the world, in the world of evil, in the world of Satan. Now, think about it. This Christ that has died for the world shed his blood. So there's no indication that Christ is coming to lift believers into the air. For what? So what we have on ground about the second coming of Jesus is what we can find by Jesus Christ himself. In Matthew 24, verse 29. Open your Bible to Matthew 24, verse 29. Christ says, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. This is what Christ by himself talks about the second coming. Verse 30. He says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and that they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. You see, there has been human postulation, speculating, different type of uh, stories concerning the second coming. 
But we are taking you to what Christ said about his coming. It's all at the end of the tribulation. You have all heard me preaching about the coming tribulation and what God has provided for man to escape the tribulation that is the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth. If you ignore my gospel message, you ignore your salvation. Because Christ is not coming. I say emphatically that Christ is not coming to yeah, lift anyone. Going by this revelation, it will be a time that the, do, the, the sun will be darkened. The moon will not show its lights. Hmm. Stars will fall down. The earth will be shaking. Where is the rapture? In God's program. It's a time when no one will be in a position to escape. That's why he has sent me to preach repent for the uh, tribulation is coming. The ark, uh, the established kingdom of God on earth is the ark of salvation like in the days of Noah. Yeah. To preserve lives of those that obey my voice and come to the kingdom. Because the Bible says in Matthew 24 verse 14, it says, and this gospel will be preached in all the world as a, a witness to all nations, and then shall they come. After the going round of this gospel, Christ will never come until this gospel will be killed and spread over the world. <laughs> Just will never come. It says, and then shall they come. Then Matthew 24, verse 29, it says, the coming of Christ will be immediately after the tribulation. The tribulation will precede the coming of Jesus Christ. And try the tribulation, who can stand? Who is going to survive? Because it's the end. Christ is coming for judgment now. It's not coming for rapture, to rapture anyone. Hmm. Now, where you have a situation uh, in which the moon, the stars, the sun cease to operate. Oh God. It's dead already. Yes. Huh. Oh God. It's dead already. Then he said, then you will see the Son of Man coming the clouds of heaven. And John chapter 12 at 31 will come into fulfillment. Then it will come to fulfillment. Where Christ himself says, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall be place of this world to be cast out. Hmm. You see? So there is no room or provision for rapture. It's not the time to save, but to judge. Remember, Jesus that has been the savior of the world from sin has now become the judge of world on sin. It's no longer to come and save, but to judge. Because the book, written book, the book of John, chapter 5, 26, Christ himself says, The Father judges no man. The Father judges no man. But he has committed all judgment to the Son, that all men may honor the Son as they honor the Father. So it's not God judging now, it's Christ judging. Mm -hmm. So the Bible is as emphatic that it's at the end of the whole world he will come and all the solar system will cease. So it's his death and judgment that follows. Who can, be, who can stand? And at the end of the day, the Bible informs us that Christ will be coming to take up the kingdom according to First Corinthians. Yes, First Corinthians. Let us see what Christ is coming for. He's coming for judgment of the whole world. But well, the Bible is revealing the truth to us. In First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24, it writes, Then come at the end, that is end of the world. When all things must have ended, 
The Bible is informing us that then and that then come at the end when he shall have delivered of the kingdom of God, even the Father. Hmm. As Christ is coming before bringing judgment upon the world, he will first come to deliver this same kingdom which has, he has delivered unto me, which I'm preaching to all the ends of the world. Christ is coming to deliver this kingdom up and deliver the kingdom unto the Father. Because the kingdom is of the Father, Amen. and unto the Father the kingdom will return. Amen. Friends, viewers, where will you be? I warn, do not stay outside the kingdom. Come to the kingdom now, that you may be returned to heaven, unto the Father. Remember in the Lord's Prayer, our Father, which are in heaven, give us the kingdom. So the kingdom belongs to the Father, not, not Christ. Okay. So Christ is coming in the final, in the final anal analysis. Christ is coming yes. for no other thing but to take the kingdom and return it to the Father because the kingdom because belongs to the Father okay. and to the Father it will re be returned. Hallelujah. And all karmas that abide in the kingdom will be returned to the Father. You will escape judgment. Amen. You will escape destruction. Because Christ is the first book of First Peter, four seventeen. He said the judgment of God will begin at the house of God. That's why every believer must come into God's kingdom. That will be delivered from judgment. May God help you all. Amen. On our website at www.kaimholythrone.com and also on our email info at kaimholythrone.com You can also follow us on our social media platforms Instagram and Twitter handle at kaimholythrone Twitter address is 109 Egbeda Akowonjo Road Volcanizer Bastard Akowonjo